the state of me. Just got back from another Tuesday evening clean. It's really close out there. It's supposed to rain all night, so we'll see what happens. Um, I got a few things. There wasn't very much in Morrison's. The veg shelves were like one whole side of it was completely bare. But I got a couple of things because that's what you do. So definitely cauliflower season. There are so many cauliflowers out and there are so many cauliflowers at discount. I don't think people like cauliflowers. So two cauliflowers, they are one pound nine each. And again, they're really diddy. Um, down to 28 p so I got two because there were loads of them there. Always easy to use. And the only other thing I bought was called Desi Yogurt and it's natural live set yogurt. I don't think I've ever had a live set yogurt before but this was £1.85 down to 47p and it is definitely yogurt season. I'm going through loads of yogurt and most of it is the plain stuff so I think it's probably better and I think I'm okay having it. So what do the ingredients say? What do we have here? We have energy fat, saturates, monosaturates, polyunsaturates, carbohydrate, uh, of which sugars, fibre protein and salt. I don't know if that's good or not. It sounds like it doesn't have anything unpronounceable. It's, they say that if, you can, if on the ingredients there are things on there you don't recognise, words you can't pronounce, then it's ultra processed. Anyway, I am obsessing about this at the moment and I hadn't even started the anti-ultra processed yet. I'm still working my way through the bread. I'm very nearly there, but um, mentally I'm almost geared up for it. So today I spent £1.03, and as usual, everything will be up there to tell you how much I saved. Not crazy savings, although, eh, it might not be so bad. Anyway, so that's Tuesday evening done. Uh, yeah, that's Tuesday evening done. Good stuff. Yesterday I did another market research project. It was an online focus group and I quite like the focus groups because although they tend to be longer, so this one was an hour and a half, it's not just you talking. So there will be a couple of people who are running the, the, the focus group and you might get six, seven, eight people who are like me logging in to talk about the thing that it's about. And this one was to do with business insurance um, and we were all businesses all working in different ways and it was just about our experiences how we felt about certain aspects of it all that sort of thing and it's quite interesting I was a bit worried about how it was going to go because I'm having a lot of trouble with my internet now I don't have broadband I don't have Wi-Fi because it's expensive I just function off of 4G on my phone and I have been doing that forever. I don't think I've ever paid for Wi-Fi and I have been here in this flat for over six years and I've always just used the 4G and you get days where it's you know temperamental maybe the weather's bad or they're working on the um, the masts or something and a few weeks ago, I got uh, a message through from my provider, who is Smarty, saying that they were going to be phasing out the 3G aspect of the masts and, you know, there might be some work going on. And ever since then, although I have 4G, it's definitely been glitchy. Now, it is, I don't think it's actually Smarty doing the work, so to speak, because Smarty piggybacks off of the 3 signal. But what I didn't realise until I started reading up on this is that Smarty and uh, 3 are owned by the same company. So they're basically the same thing. So there wouldn't be much point in switching from Smarty to 3 or 3 to Smarty. You're going to end up with the same situation. And it's definitely getting more glitchy. And I've kind of sat back a couple of times and thought maybe I should change providers that said, I will still be on 4G, and it's only as good as the area you're in. I wouldn't say I'm in a very built-up area, and there are quite a lot of masts in the surrounding area. So, 
I don't know that changing um, providers is, is going to help and it's just going to cost me more money. I had a look online to see who are the best 4G providers in terms of having enough masters around. That's basically how it doesn't, it won't tell you who's got the fastest signal, it'll just tell you who has the best coverage. And three is quite high up actually, so I don't know that I'm going to have a better experience unless I go on to Wi-Fi. And the cost is just so different compared to what I'm paying for my unlimited 4G. And I leave it as unlimited because I download stuff, I'm watching YouTube a lot, I'm uploading to YouTube a lot, um, I download a lot of films and stuff like that. And there are days where it's great and it flies along and there are other days when it's just awful. And I don't know whether that's because they are still working on the system. So I was worried that this focus group wasn't going to work for me because it means that when you're using Zoom or Microsoft Teams, which is what they tend to use, it can be very bitty. Now what happened was it was a bit glitchy, but only where I was watching other people. And it seemed that when I was talking and they were asking me things and I was talking, everything seemed to be okay. Nobody said, oh, you're dropping out or anything. And there were people that did drop out. So I don't think I was one of them. So I think that my upload is not too bad. It's my download that's the problem. And if it means that voices come incoming are a little bit glitchy, then I can cope with that. At the moment, it's behaving quite badly. So I think that the the focus group that I did via Zoom yesterday is probably as bad as it's going to get. And we limped through without any real problems, so that's good. So I did that. Um, unfortunately, it's only paying in Amazon vouchers, and I absolutely loathe Amazon. However, there are a couple of things coming up which I want to buy online. Um, and I would normally go through eBay and buy on my credit card, but if I've got a £20 Amazon voucher, um, I can use that for those things and then I haven't paid for those things. So, is what it is. It still enabled me to buy things that I would otherwise have spent money on. I won't spend it for the sake of it, I'll buy, it. I'll buy things that I would normally buy on eBay, but on Amazon, because they're mostly the same sellers, the same things, it's all the same. So that's uh, that's my little struggle at the moment. The internet is pretty shocking and I'm just learning to be patient. As I say, some days things fly along, downloads are really fast, I upload my YouTube videos really fast and then there are other days where it's just appalling. Um, and that's the nature of paying less for something you don't always get the service but I think it is very much based on who's in your area I don't think it's quite as bad at certain times now because my neighbour downstairs has gone and the gaming and the multiple people using their mobile phones has gone and I think that was making it a bit jittery because I don't quite know what I'm surrounded by here that is causing signal blocks but there's bound to be things that sometimes cause problems. Anyway, so that's that. Um, in other news, today I have officially run out of ultra-processed bread. So let the challenge begin. Um, we'll see how we get on. Well, I mean, we have to get on, we're not going back. We are now without processed bread. I've been slowly working my way through the the bagels and the muffins, things that I had in the freezer. There wasn't an enormous amount there, but I was just eating it as normal, so it's taken a while. But it's allowed me to get my brain into the idea that this is going to happen. And now today it is happening. So um, let's see how we get on. Uh, this is the first part of the challenge. Once I have mastered this and I'm okay with it, which might take days, might be weeks, I will move on to the next thing, um, whatever that next thing is. 
I do still have other junky carbs here. I still have a few things in my emergency snack bag. So I have a few packets of crisps, nothing dramatic. And I will work my way through those as well so that they are gone. Um, but I'm going to try and make them last and see how long I can push myself. So I'm eating more healthily now because I don't really have any other junk stuff. Um, the chocolate's all gone. Um, I say there's only those few packets of crisps. Um, I don't have any shop-bought cakes or biscuits or anything like that. If I want cake now, I will have to make it and therefore it's going to be a bit better. If I want bread, I will have to make it. Um, I don't feel the urge to make any at the moment, but I'm probably due to do another bread recipe with you to remind you how easy it is to make soda bread. So I will probably do that as a, as a video at some point, probably in the next, um, I don't know, couple of weeks. We'll see how I get on. Depends how much I desperately need bread in my life. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've had 24 hours of non-stop heavy rain here. It was warned, and boy was it heavy. Well, I don't see much flooding, and it's still raining now. But it's lighter. So, I overslept this morning, which is unusual for me. Like quarter to nine, never happens, and that's a bad sign. because I've also had a headache on and off all night. So I might be in for a rough few days. So I'm going to see how things go. I don't feel on top for them. I don't feel bad. Anyway, this morning we to post on Facebook because I have to renew my driving license. And I have to do it at the post office because I don't have a valid passport. And this way I can guarantee I don't make any mistakes on the form. So, I'm off to reluctantly part with my £21 something for that. A bit breezy. Yesterday I recorded and edited the last little bit of my last post about um, Universal Credit and my latest Universal Credit meeting, which would have been uploaded by the time you see this. And in that last section, I was talking as I was walking to the appointment and I hadn't realised quite how noisy the road was. And I know that wind noise and loud traffic noise annoys viewers and I don't blame you because the noise can be really, really distracting, especially when you're trying to talk. And after I edited, um, it was too much and I thought I need to find find a proper way to deal with this and the standard tools that come on my editing software uh, what's already inbuilt doesn't work but I was looking around and there was some free software that is part of it but doesn't come a standard which I could download and it's an AI wind remover and I thought I'll give it a go because you don't know so I downloaded that gave that a go and oh my goodness the difference <laughs> It picks out the background noise, so although it's for removing wind, it seems to work on traffic as well. So the sound might be slightly odd because it's manipulated the sound, but it sounds so much better than the original, which was incredibly loud at times. The problem was that it was a busy road, but because it had been raining, the sound of the cars on the wet road just amplified it. So I think I've dealt with the problem with um, being outside and talking about 
things when it's windy. And if I can now go out and record more, because it's windy quite a lot up here, if I can go out and record more and do things outside and it's um, less annoying because I can easily remove the sound afterwards because it wasn't a difficult piece of software to use at all, it was ever so simple then that might have solved that problem, so that's a good one uh, Today is Saturday um, Beautiful sunny morning when I woke up but it's not going to last this morning I'm going to go over and do the first bit of cleaning. Um, it's a bank holiday this weekend I think, uh, so that means I get three days in which to clean, but I'm probably going to stick to the normal, because bank holidays don't really mean anything to me. So I'm going to do that, I've got to drop off a vintage parcel as well, um, and later today I need to finish off my uh, recording about making elderflower champagne which is also coming up or may have already been up by now depends on when I post this up um, because I just need to finish that off and all that sort of thing so uh, busy Saturday I've spent the last two and a half three days with another blinding headache which was a pain because I had to go down for my DWP appointment for universal credit the exercise didn't help um, but paracetamol does seems to work better than ibuprofen for me so I haven't really been with it for the last few days and uh, most of yesterday was a washout so um, it's nice to feel normal again it's lovely when it's gone and you suddenly like life is great because suddenly you feel like a normal person again so it's always a relief when they go uh, yeah that's it so weekend will be good very productive lots of <sighs> Lots of posts to finish. Um, it's been a bit busier online lately because I've had so much to post up and I've had some backed up posts that I've been shifting around in the schedule. Um, I've been posting up kind of every day recently. But I'm sure that will change again. Uh, I've had a, 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 a whole bunch of things to talk about, particularly in relation to like um, money stuff and things like that, just because they come up. I don't deliberately go out looking for the subjects but if I happen to read something or see something on YouTube and it inspires me to talk about some aspect of what I do and I've forgotten about it because I don't always think to talk about everything that's in my life I think oh no one will be interested in that or that's just normal life for me and then I'll see someone posting about something similar and I'll think actually maybe people are interested in that and I'll post it up and we'll see what happens so my lat latest universal credit post will probably be of interest because it talks about um, how the money has changed because the personal allowance has gone up, the minimum wage has gone up and how that affects your income if you are on the transitional year. So that was uh, interesting and unexpected. And what else? So yeah, I'm going to do the elderflower champagne recipe somewhere within this posts I'm going to do a cake as of recording this which is the 25th of May I have been three days without ultra processed bread it's official all the bread has gone and I don't miss the bread I miss the easiness of being able to reach for something when I want the snack um, and I miss I miss just the texture of it that it's easy to eat a piece of bagel or something like that and spread a bit of peanut butter on it. So I've got to change habits now. So that's that's where I thought the challenge would be. It's breaking the habit rather than... And it doesn't make me want to go out and buy the bread. And it doesn't even make me want to make my own at the moment. But it is making me look through the cupboard to see what else I've got. Because I've got to break the habit of every time I have a break in work or... I stop for five minutes, oh, let's go and reach for something in the kitchen. It's the behaviour, not the actual need for the food, I think, that's more the issue. Um, so that's that's the challenge with that. But, um, yeah, it's part of the journey. Enjoyed beyond that journey, because I know a lot of you commented and said how you needed to do a similar thing. So... Do what I do, see if you can do what I do, if you're good about not buying stuff, if you're not tempted in the shop, so I'm not really tempted to buy stuff, I'm just walking past the bread counter now. There's no point in looking because I'm not allowed to buy anything. 
and it's now just breaking the habit and, and changing how I do things. And I don't even want to replace it with healthier snacks. I want to stop feeling the need to reach for snacks because I don't need them. I'm not hungry. It's just behaviour. So, uh, so that's my Saturday morning thoughts. I'm going to go off and do my clean now, drop off this vintage package and then come back and sort out the rest of my elderflower champagne recipe. Have a good weekend. It's Sunday again. It's the last Sunday in May. Yeah, it's the last Sunday in May. How depressing. Uh, went to Morrison's as per the usual. And I bought some stuff. What have I got today? First thing I bought was Savers Hummus. Was 99p down to 50p. It's nice to have a dip. I found some meats. This is pizza topping. I've had these before and I stick these in the freezer and they keep in the freezer really well. And then when I want some, I just take off, say, four or five, dice them up into a stir fry, and that's lunch sorted. These were £1.25 each, 93 pence each, and I bought three of those. What else do we have? Uh, sweet potatoes, at last. I haven't seen sweet potatoes on discount in ages, and I love them. Uh, these were 59p, down to 24p, so I bought two. Uh, and the last thing I got was broccoli. I think broccoli season might be coming to an end. You don't see many on discount and there are less in the shops at the moment. These were 79p down to 59p, so I bought two. And that is everything. So today I... I spent £4.95 and I shall do the usual and stick all the savings and the what would have been the shelf price up there. Um, I have one shop left on Tuesday but I've got quite a lot of veg in so I might not go on Tuesday. I'll see how I get on. It depends how things go for the next couple of days. Uh, I'm quite happy not to spend the money because I feel like I've overspent on food again this month. I've pretty much used everything that I've bought this month because it's all been fresh or dairy or veg and I've been using more of the stuff I've had in store because I've been trying to get rid of the bread the bread of which has now gone so that challenge has now officially begun and because those things were in the freezer and had a value against them that has put the cost of what I have physically eaten this month up I'm going to do an end of month money review and just talk through what I've spent this month. I sometimes do them, I sometimes don't. I feel like this month I will, just because it might be interesting. Um, I have a, I feel like I've overspent this month on all sorts of things. But that's just because I've bought a few things that were not things I would normally buy. Anyway, so I'll do that on a separate post somewhere along the line. I'll do it in income and outgoings and... Uh, uh, that's it for Sunday. It uh, looks like it's going to tip down in a bit. It's cooler, but it's not cold, so it's actually really nice today. Because um, the the heat really messes with my energy levels. Anyway, so that's that. And now I am going to... It's past lunchtime. I spent a lot more time cleaning this morning than usual. Uh, so I'm going to get on with lunch. And so that's it. Speak to you soon. Bye. It is almost the end of May. It's the second bank holiday, which is the 27th, and it is tipping it down. I must go outside today. I need to go outside, get fresh air, but I'm waiting for the rain to stop. And if I get a break in the rain, I'm going to show you how the garden's getting on, because things are happening. Um, and I think it's quite enjoyed having some rain, but for now, just gonna have to watch and wait. This afternoon, well after lunch, the rain held off a bit so I decided to take my chances. Had a look out in the garden, you can see things are doing quite well. 
Um, the peas are producing peas now. And we have potatoes. And the runner beans and the broad beans are doing pretty well. Even that broad, the broad bean plants that I put in really early in the season, which didn't look like they were going to come too much. Um, it's almost as tall as me now. And the flowers are going, so I don't know whether anything's going to happen afterwards. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I got caught in the rain on the way home. But of course I took a brolly because why wouldn't you? And uh, there's a party in the park this weekend because it's the bank holiday. And they were hanging in there valiantly, despite the rain. And um, as I was coming back, they were doing a little karaoke session, which, um, not great. So I decided to head on down to Sainsbury's just to get me out to walk because otherwise I just wouldn't have gone out today. I think I would have been too lazy. Um, I really had the urge for some healthy snacks, believe it or not. I really wanted some fruit and I decided to blow some nectar points. It's weird, buying when you have like points to spend is a bit like buying on credit. It doesn't feel like real money. And I suppose with the nectar points, it's not like I can spend them anywhere else. So I thought I'd treat myself. So I spent £10.27. Um, so £10 of that was nectar points. I used Smart Shop because I got an extra small discount, which I'll tell you about in a moment. So I only paid 27p. And I've still got over £70 worth of nectar points to use. And that's always going back up again because I'm doing surveys which earn me nectar points all the time. So I thought I'd show you what I got. I got a six pint of milk because I'm almost out in the freezer. I will divvy this up into one pint, one pint bottles and put it in the freezer. I always dilute my milk down. That's just the way I am. So when those individual one, point, one pint bottles come out the freezer, I will dilute them down to about two pints. So that's effectively 12 pints. That was £2.15. Milk prices have held pretty well at the moment. Um, I also treated myself to some more of that extra mature cheddar, which I absolutely love. This was £3, but because I used the Sainsbury's Smart Shop, which is like extra nectar points, uh, that was £2.40, so I saved 60p on that, which was pretty good. But of course it was free anyway. What else did I buy? I bought more bananas. I'm really into bananas at the moment. This is a five-pack, but these were 78p, so I got that. Um, I also bought some grapes, because I'm just really in the mood for grapes. And I'm pretty sure that I earned some points on that. I'll have a look in a minute. I think there's about 20 points on that. I also bought some, I bought the spring onions because I was short on the £10 for the nectar points and I just needed to oomph it up so I bought these, these were, how much were these? These were 59p, 
so I needed something like 37p or something so I got these as one of the cheapest things I could get that wasn't going to be you know a packet of crisps or a packet of biscuits or something and then I also bought some dried fruit because I really wanted to go in and buy loads of dried fruit so I could snack on that but the prices the per kilogram prices on dried fruit are insane at the moment it's just ridiculous I really wanted to get like a bag of mixed nuts the prices are just a joke so I ended up just buying one bag of sultanas I mean, I will. You gave me this bag now. I probably eat the whole lot in one go because they're really easy to snack on. So I'm going to try and be good about it. I've also got the grapes. I know, so I've got both of those, and that was that. So those sultanas, the sultanas were one pound ten. That was the cheapest thing on the shelf that I could find um, on a price per kilo uh, per kilo price. Everything else was just absolutely astronomical. Um, and that's it so that's the end of the bank holiday weekend bank holidays don't really mean anything to me um, I don't have to go to a job so it's not like an extended weekend if anything I tend not to go out and do anything because everyone else is out and doing things I am more likely to go out and do stuff when I know everyone else is at work and the kids are in school so when I go and do hikes or I want to go and look around a town or something I'll always do it during term time and always when it's not like a half term break um, and that sort of thing because other people just ruin everything. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, right, so yes, yeah, so I paid 27p for that lot, which is pretty good. How many points did I make? I have absolutely no idea. I will add that at the end and whatever. I got a few points back. Oh, I also got potatoes. Got about those. Potatoes were two pounds for what potatoes one pound thirty five. That's it. That's that's bank holiday weekend over with. And I think that's probably it for this for this vlog. I've done lots of other bits and pieces that I've broken up into individual posts because it just makes more sense. Uh, there's been a lot of money stuff going on recently, but um I've quite enjoyed watching documentaries about different money things that are going on, different ways of looking at things. I love all that kind of stuff, so um, it's been interesting. So I've, I've made some comments on some bits because it, uh, I think it helps me to understand why I do what I do and why I keep doing what I'm doing, and you might find it useful as well. It's good to think outside the box and not believe everything that retailers and banks and politicians tell you. I think that's a really interesting one. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll catch up with you soon.